College basketball is back on the court next week, if you can believe that, know, as right? our local teams begin playing preseason scrimmages. The North Carolina Central Eagles are looking for a breakout year after going through back-to-back -back seasons of battling a lot of obstacles on the court and off the court as well. Sports director Chris Clark has more on that. For the first time in three years, NC Central basketball is finally back to normal. I don't think there's a program in the nation that was affected by COVID more than North Carolina Central. In 2020-2021, the program lost 64 days due to COVID-19 complications. We didn't even have four or five people at practice. We were showing up. Coaches would have to practice. And then... All of a sudden, it's like, yo, can y'all play tomorrow? It was almost like pickup basketball with, you know, some glorified pickup with jerseys on. Last year, they held COVID at bay, but despite the precautions, it hit again during Christmas break and took 34 days in most of their January schedule. Basketball is a game that you got to do every day once you're actively involved in it. And, you know, us taking those, those prolonged breaks um, and then trying to go back and go full speed, it opens you up to soft tissue injuries and just, you know, your body's looking like, hey, what are we doing right now? This season should be different. For one thing, I'm back to my old self. Pandemic veil is, is gone, right? It, it kind of softened us all up. Don't let Coach Moten's easygoing nature fool you. Sure, pandemic veil may be gone, but that drive and work ethic that made him a championship player and coach has never left. He was just waiting for the right time to return. We expect greatness and we're committed to excellence. And our standard is our standard. And that's where we are in our life. That's where we are with our program. And we're not going to lower that bar to make you feel comfortable. One of the guys he'll lean on is junior guard Justin Wright, the youngest Eagle to be named first team all MEAC. Last season, his increased minutes led to an increase in scoring. But this year, the focus is a little different. My thing with him is don't focus on scoring. Just focus on the need to impact winning. We got you a, a, more help. So you don't have to carry the weight on your shoulders. You don't have to put that burden on your shoulders. Some games you'll have 15. Some games you might have seven or eight. Joining him is Eric Boone, one of the best defensive guards in the country. Last year, he recorded 71 steals, which tied for the second most all-time in a single season at Central. But it's the intangibles with Eric where he shines. Just in terms of his leadership, um, he has a unique, uncanny ability to galvanize people. He can walk in a room and he'll light it up. Um, so we need to use that in a positive way so his teammates can rally around him. And finally, for the one thing you can't coach, there's Brendan Medley Bacon. His shot blocking ability, his defensive presence, right, is, you know, it's, it always make your job easy as a basketball player when you know you got a 7-1 guy back there protecting that rim, you know, the way he does. So you can push up, you can be a little more aggressive. The court was always 94 feet. The 10-foot rims have never changed. But for the first time since COVID hit, Basketball finally feels familiar at NC Central. This year, we're just going to try to control the controllables and understand we need to get back to the basics. We're not circumventing the process. We're coming in here chopping wood every single day. And uh, that's how we've always done it. And that's, that's led to victories and wins and, you know, pedigree and respectability for North Carolina Central. So the Eagles are picked to finish the regular season second to Norfolk State in the MEAC preseason poll. Historically, NC Central has always finished above the predicted preseason finish, so it's just going to be one of those waiting games. I love that he says yeah. we're back. It's time. We're back.